there is more tests coming out on a daily basis. Uh, or excuse me, more uh, reports, I should say. Uh, studies, data that show conclusively that the vaccine provides a protection in most people from getting uh, Omicron. It provides not total protection. Some people it's 30%. Some people it's 40, 50, 60, 70% protection from getting it. So it adds to your immune system in that way. It also shows definitively that if you've been vaccinated and particularly boosted, that your chances diminish greatly of being hospitalized and of dying from Omicron or and past um, past uh, uh, variants. So we know this, and yet um, there's an entire well, there's multiple news operations that are dedicated to obscuring the reality of that 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 medical reality. Let's play Laura Ingram. Before we go, it's time for another edition of what? Positively boosted. Positively boosted. All right. The triple vax uh, joint chief chairman, Mark Milley, our favorite Mark Milley, tested positive for COVID yesterday. And who else? General David Berger, the Marine Corps commandant, also Mm. positively boosted. Well, Laura, the positively boosted club has now reached the Vatican. The Holy See's boosted Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Parolin, who just dropped a vaccine mandate on Vatican employees, <laughs> firing many of them. He has tested positive, according to reporter Ed Penton. Parolin, interestingly enough, cast doubt on religious exemptions to vaccine mandates last week. We wish well, them all the best, Laura. Well, we certainly hope they're all healthy and fine. They're probably uh, but stop fine, pushing yeah. your mandate. Positively huh? recovered. Uh, Ray- <laughs> We're positively recovered, Raymond. We're yeah. almost doing That's that. That's the point. <laughs> the yin yin yang. Exactly. Exactly. That's funny stuff. Hey, do we have any uh, funny music that we can play uh, to this you story? Okay? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> here's some funny music uh, out of Prague. The story of an unvaccinated Czech folk singer who died after she celebrated catching the coronavirus has gripped the nation after her son said her death should serve as a warning. To those resisting vaccination, should we put in? Let's see. Do we have any? Um, uh, do we have any good, uh, good, good music we can put uh, on this? Let's see. Um, I don't. I don't have anything right here. Um, soon after the singer Hannah Horka died on Sunday, her bereaved son Jack Rack uh, poured his heart out on social media and to check news outlets, offering both a plea for people to be vaccinated and a warning against taking the virus lightly. Despite what the son described as her family's strong encouragement, Ms. Horka refused to get vaccinated and rejoiced once her husband and her son, both vaccinated, contracted COVID over the Christmas holiday. Instead of isolating herself, she deliberately exposed herself to the virus. Her son said she was ill for a couple of days, but then appeared to be recovering. Uh, in a Facebook post, she celebrated her apparent recovery and naturally acquired immunity, saying she looked forward to sauna, swimming, and cultural life all denied her under the virus regulations because of her refusal to be vaccinated, but potentially available once she could present proof of recovery from infection. Uh, Days later, her condition swiftly declined and she died. So uh, so what should we call this segment? Simply uh, dead before you should have been if you were vaccinated. Right. Early death. Bing, bing, ding, 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 ding. And then, yeah. I mean, like, uh, I don't know. It's just ridiculous, too, because they're conflating the contraction of the virus. Like, Millie's going to be fine, right? And that's what they say at the end there. All those old people are going to survive. <laughs> but right. the person who didn't get vaccinated di- has died. It is also st- backed up by statistics and all of that stuff. Um, and that, it really is despicable. Like, th- th- it's not about contracting COVID. It's about mitigating its effects, and we should also say that it does have uh, an impact on 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 contracting on, it too. You yep. might get it, but you might not. And yeah. also, all of these people in in government that contracted it after getting a booster, they probably got boosted 
September, October, because they were some of the earliest people to get vaccinated as well. So their immunity's down and they'll likely have to get boosted again. It's not hard to figure out. <laughs>